It's probably around 14 year old when I started thinking about what am I good at, what things do I enjoy, and then you start to think about sort of what your primary goal is. Throughout my education, I've loved science. I got on quite well with people, finding out about their stories, their background, and I like a challenge. Um, so when you combine those three things together, the only thing in my mind you can come up with is, is really medicine. There's no healthcare professionals in my family. I had to do all my own research, I had to take the initiative to find out how I would get into medical school. There was one opportunity when I was told that I wouldn't be able to do something. That sparked a fire in me to say, no one says what I can't do, it's more of a case of I'll decide what I want to do. You have to stand on your own two feet and learn to be independent and learn to be resilient. Whilst doing that and studying, you also have to work out who you are as a person, your own goals, your own values. But I'd like to think after the five years, you become a completely different person and you walk out of the medical school, essentially as a changed individual ready to tackle the challenges that the NHS will face. The integral thing that will never change is my drive to be a good human and, and to do some good. But I think the other things that kind of drive me to be a good doctor is being surrounded by such driven and enthusiastic colleagues who equally want to do good, who want to make a difference, who want to have an impact on patients' lives. And I think the thing that's sometimes overlooked is just how much respect the public have for healthcare professionals. And as a future doctor, I think I have a duty to make sure I've earned the right for that respect. Sometimes you start to wonder if it's worth it because it's such a long journey. But then there's defining moments when you're in the hospital, when you're in, out in the community and you see patients that are severely unwell and that are so dependent on the care of the healthcare professionals. And then you realise just how important it is to keep going, to find the motivation, to keep learning, to develop those skills so that one day you can be in a position to obviously make a difference. If I was to go back to my 14-year-old self, I think I'd just tell him to believe in himself. I'm about to enter into the, into the medical world, into the, into the NHS and work as a doctor. And all of that hard work will hopefully become worth it when I can make a difference to patients' lives and have an impact.